What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Aaron the Silver Gamer here, and welcome to another reaction video. Now, a few months back, a trailer was released for the next 2D Mario platformer game called Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Now, today, literally a few minutes ago, Nintendo released a Nintendo Direct with information specifically for that game, so we are going to take a look at that, and feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Welcome to the Flower Kingdom. The a Flower so Kingdom? distant land just beyond the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario and friends were invited here by the benevolent Prince Florian. But Interesting. Bowser, the king of the Koopas, had other plans. Of course, Bowser's With back. Just a single touch of the mysterious Wonder Flower. So that's what happened. Bowser merged with Prince Florian's castle. Interesting. Oh, apologies if the audio is too loud, by the way. What? Oh, my. Thanks to his newfound power, chaos spread across the land. A well, pretty good idea now, on who the final boss is going to be. Mario and friends to stop Bowser and save the Flower Kingdom. Oh, now it's back. In this presentation, we'll go over what's new in Mario's latest 2D side-scrolling adventure, the Super Mario Brothers Wonder Game. Let's jump in. I am really this looking forward to playing the this game. Flower Kingdom. Oh, wow. It's made up of six distinct worlds that circle the Petal Isles, making a total of seven areas to explore. Your adventure begins among the tubular hills of Pipe Rock Plateau. Hype Rock Plateau, interesting. I, I know you guys can't Once see the titles the because of where my webcam is. I apologize. You'll be aiming for new heights in Fluff Puff Peaks. Many trials await amidst the picturesque scenery and radiant cascades of Shining Falls. Traverse multiple islands, dive into the sea, and spelunk through caves at the heart of the Flower Kingdom, the Petal Isles. There's also an arid desert with white sand as far as the eye can see. An uncanny forest lined with giant mushrooms. A scorching hot world full of molten magma and more. No, oh, I'm not surprised there. I mean, of course, is a weight in each world. What would a Mario game be without that kind of stuff? Move around the map in each world to select a course. You can even walk freely through open areas you find. Oh, this is like in the 3D spaces, world world map. If you're not quite ready to take on a particular course, you can try a different one instead. Play them in any order you like. Oh, well, that's Once you've new. A course, you can quickly come back to it through the courses menu. It's an easy way to find the ones you want to play again. While in course, I've never seen a 2D Mario platform game flowers. with that kind of thing where Get you can play courses in any order. Upward. Get up here. What a pretty sunset. They'll talk to you, livening up your adventure. I wonder what Goombas taste like. They might give you hints. Wonder if you can get over there. Or coins. You'd share your water with me? But let's see what we have for the characters. Besides Mario, you can also play as yeah. Luigi. Peach. But these Easy. renders of the characters are really interesting. Two toads and Toadette. They all play the same, so go with your favorite or mix it up. The Yoshis and Nabbit, on the other hand, won't take damage. They're a Ooh. great choice if you're looking for a more easygoing experience. Careful though, they'll still lose a life if they fall down a pit, so watch your step. Oh. Additionally, the Yoshis can flutter jump, eat objects, and spit them back at enemies. Interesting here. 
Speaking of enemies, here are some of the new ones you'll find. Hopping cats will copy the player and jump when you jump. Interesting, hoppy cats. Melon piranha plants will spit seeds from their mouths. Melon piranha plants? That's new. Condarts will fly at you and stick their beaks where they don't belong. When conks attack, they'll even plow through goo. Now those are like thwomps. Mumsies can be unraveled if you position yourself just right. Mamas will eat anything that comes too close to their gaping mouths. There are plenty more new enemies for you to discover as well. Goombas. Koopa Troopas. Uh, the classics. Locky Twos and other familiar foes are also here. Ooh, new power-ups. Let's see what we have. Next, let's look at the new power-ups you can find. In elephant form, make the most of your nose and your size. Swing your trunk to attack enemies. Well, of course, there's the Destroy elephant. Blocks, and even do this. Oh. In this form, you can easily break through blocks and dash across large gaps. See? If you store water in your trunk and spray it out, who knows what might happen? Thank you. Oh, hello. Sure is useful, huh? It's not just Mario, though. Luigi, the Toads, Peach, Daisy, and Toadette. Oh, wow. All elephant forms as well. The bubble form allows you to blow light floating bubbles. They can be used to capture and defeat enemies from a distance. That's interesting. Also drift toward nearby foes. You can take care of enemies surrounding you in one go. Defeat typically impervious foes and knock out baddies on the other side of walls. You can even jump off them, like platforms. Bubbles make it a bit easier to get to those hard to reach places. Ooh. Just like that. That'll come in handy. While in drill form, you'll get a drill form. This, drill. this is giving me flashbacks to the drill, spiking, the spin drill from Super Mario Galaxy 2. Or hard headed enemies of Breeze. Or you can use it to drill down. It also allows you to burrow and move oh, the the Mario Luigi series in reference. Spot, dig away. In a way. You can even burrow into the ceiling. What? Wow. I wasn't expecting company. Plus, the classic fire form makes a return. Oh, and you can hang on to an extra power up. As and always. Bust out a power up. Or swap them to better fit the situation. This is a wonder flower, a plant that grows in the flower kingdom. It's said they thrive off this world's mysterious power and release it when in bloom. That's the power Bowser was after. Why would Bowser want that? I mean, when you touch a wonder flower, in my defense, course, he didn't kidnap Princess Peach. A wonder effect will trigger, causing some interesting changes. Pipes might start moving. A stampede of enemies. This is appear. like the new Mario the 2D era here after a bunch of new Super Mario Bros. games plus support from you the Wii U one. A free fall. Bubbles might, uh, bubble up. Your perspective can change. Wait, oh, uh, that was like Galaxy 2 right there. Space. Oh, my Galaxy there vibes here. wonders where your character transforms. Mario might become a Goomba? That's giving me flashbacks to Odyssey. Ball. In Odyssey, you can capture Goombas for those who don't know. When you touch and this is like Super Mario World. Expect the unexpected. Collect a Wonder Seed and the course will return to normal. Some courses need to be unlocked using the Wonder Seeds you've collected. Of course. You'll also earn a Wonder Seed as thanks from a Poplin when you clear a course. So Poplins are like the toads of uh, the game. Ooh, badges. As your adventure progresses, 
you'll unlock in-game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. There are a variety of badges, each with its own special ability. Let's go over some of them. Slow your fall with the parachute cap badge. The parachute cap, that's what that is. Enhance your wall jumping abilities with the wall climb jump badge. Unleash a burst of speed while underwater by equipping the dolphin kick badge. You can also break underwater blocks. Charge up a bounding leap with the crouching high jump badge. Oh. Shoot vines in midair and stick to walls with the grappling vine badge. Recover from dangerous drops instantly with the safety bounce badge. Oh, wow, that is Easily awesome. Find important items using the sensor badge. Sensor badge? Hmm. Draw in nearby Moolah with the coin magnet badge. Become invisible to your enemies and yourself with the invisibility badge. Oh, wow. You will that not is not like the invisibility the power up from a Super Mario 64. You can run in the air for a bit. There are many more badges wow. with different abilities, from the convenient to the unconventional. Only one badge can be equipped per course. Equip them from the world map or when starting a course. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. Interesting. Some badges can be earned by clearing special badge challenge courses. Go for it! Mm. While others can be purchased from Poplin shops on the world map. Be sure to exchange flower coins you collect in courses for badges. Play together. Ooh, could this mean what I think it could mean? Up to right, local co-op. Play locally on the same Nintendo Switch system. Pick your favorite character and jump into the adventure together. If a player is defeated in local co-op, their character will. I really hope this is what I think it could mean. If another player reaches them before time runs out, they'll jump right back into action. Your group won't lose a life either. And just so you know, if someone is playing as a Yoshi, you can jump on their back and ride them around the course. Oh, wow, Even that's if interesting. Playing as a Yoshi, <laughs> Yoshi on a Yoshi, that's funny. Or elephant on a Yoshi. What? Yes, I knew it. I called it. If you connect online, you might see other players on the world map and in courses. These are people from around the world enjoying the game in real time. That might be interesting for content. Your shadows. Just like in local co-op, if you're defeated, you can come back to life by bumping into a live player shadow. Players can send greetings and share in-game items. Even though you won't be playing together directly, you'll get to experience a subtle connection with other players online as you enjoy this new adventure together. Ooh. You can also place a standee in a course. Standees can revive ghosts, so place them in not-so-easy areas and help your fellow players. Oh, well, that's interesting. You can purchase standee surprises from the Poplin shops to add more to your collection. You never know which standee you'll get. When you come into contact with an online player or their standee, you'll see their username and heart points. Ooh. These points show how much they've helped other players on their adventure. Reviving ghosts, gifting items, reaching the goal pole together, and more will earn you heart points. <laughs> While playing online, you also have the option of creating a room to get together with friends. Oh, playing with friends. In Interesting. Room, you can see which courses your friends are playing, enter courses together, and even race through certain courses. Start a race by hitting the race block. Then make a run for it. Competition much? <laughs> Reaching the goal pole isn't the only way to finish a race, though. In some courses, you'll need to grab a Wonder Seed or defeat a boss instead. That Bowser Jr. Whether you're casually connecting with players from around the world or syncing up with friends for riveting races, you can enhance your experience with online play. What a beautiful day! Ah! 
Hmm. What of you? Hey, Captain Toad makes an appearance in the game. Jump into the unexpected with Mario and friends Whoa. when Super Mario Brothers Wonder launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 20th. Wow. Plus, a new Nintendo Switch OLED model Mario Red Edition is also on the way. Ooh. If you look closely, you'll find Mario and some hidden coins. The Nintendo Switch OLED model Mario Red Edition launches October 6th. Right, well, if you are looking forward to this game, be sure to leave a like and support the channel. And I may do some content for it. I don't know whether or not I will yet, but feel free to let me know your thoughts on what has been revealed in this direct in the comments. And what are you excited most for about this game? Anyway, this is Aaron the Silver Gamer signing out. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Here we go.